I'm sure just like everybody else, you've heard a ton about how artificial intelligence can help content creators and all the different ways that it can make our lives easier. Well, I have something amazing to share with you. It's the world's first and only dedicated tool for script writing for content creators. And by dedicated, what I mean is the other tools that are out there currently, they'll spit out like a full script and then you'll have to go in and just kind of modify everything or maybe just rewrite the entire script and you have to go through all this additional work in order to save each individual part of the script. Well, what I'm getting ready to show you, it actually uses something called hold and modify where it holds the parts of the script that you like and then you just hit a couple of buttons and then it modifies the parts of the script that you don't like or it'll also expand those parts of the scripts to help you make longer videos or just to add more information to each individual section instead of just looking at the script as a whole. So it's way better for the workflow. But look, I don't wanna waste your time talking about it. Let me actually show you this thing in action. Okay, so here we are in front of the computer. Once you log into your TubeSpanner account, the next thing you wanna do is you want to go to Toolbox and then the AI Script Generator. Once you click AI Script Generator, you're going to see the script wizard pop up. Now we have advanced options down here to where you can change the sentiment of the information that the AI is going to put out. You can also put your target audience in here. You can put positive points. You want to make sure it lists and so on. But for now, I'm going to close this and we're going to go in with something basic. So I'm going to put in the title into the script wizard, which in this case is ways to get YouTube traffic to your website. I'm going to hit create. When this page loads, it takes a few seconds for the AI to actually generate the script for you. And once it does, it's going to look something like this. So right up here at the very top, this is the structure of your video. So you can see we have the hook, we have the intro, we have a handful of content blocks, we have the wrap up, and then we have the closing call to action, which is what CTA stands for. Now over here on the right hand side, in this green area, it shows you a ballpark time of about how long these parts of your video are going to be. So as a total, currently, if you were to say this at just a moderate speed, it would take around three minutes and 24 seconds of this information to actually play out in an edited video. But of course, if you're a new content creator, you can see each one of these areas defined right over here on the right-hand side in terms of what a hook is, what the intro is, and so on. And if we scroll down the page, you can also see how all of this information has been put together already by the TubeSpanner AI, which is named Kim, by the way. But if we go back up here to the top, the things that I wanna bring to your attention that are the most important here, the artificial intelligence side of this. So if you look into the content areas, you see how there's a little brain. This icon right here is where it just brainstorms different things that you can put here. This icon right here that looks like a chat, this is an option to rewrite the information that is in here. And then the plus icon is the option to expand the information inside of here. So for example, in the first part of this content, if I go ahead and just put the cursor in here and then I hit the option to rewrite it, you're going to see that it rewrote that particular part of the script without damaging anything else. So this is called a hold and modify. So the idea is that it holds all of the other information together for you, and then it only modifies the part of the script that you're wanting to actually modify. But if we want to have this provide us with a lot more full information, then what we can do here is we can click on expand, and then now you see it really flushed out this area here in this first block of content. And if we scroll to the top of the page, you'll see it's also added time to the actual time of the video itself as well. So let's say for example, you're trying to make a video that's 10 minutes long and you wanna make sure that the content within it is just all rock solid, fantastic content. Then in that case, right here, we're at five minutes. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it to 10. In order to do that, I'm going to come down here into this next content block and I'm going to hit the plus icon. And here it's given us a little bullet point list of additional information that we can share in the video. And then if we go down to the next one, I'm just gonna go ahead and just rewrite this area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just expand on this one too. Now, one thing I wanna bring to your attention is you can see right here how it has finally keyword optimization, so on and so forth. So keep in mind this information that it's spitting out right here, I don't recommend that you just say everything word for word just as it puts it out. I recommend that you actually read through it and you're like, hey, this makes sense, this doesn't make sense. Maybe it would be better if this section was on top of this section, which is why this area up here was created because when you identify that, you can just move the sections around here or you can grab each section by the little tool that you see right here and then you can move the sections around accordingly in order to make it a script that is fresh and unique to you and that has nothing to do with any other script that anybody else creates. 
Now, the next thing I want to bring to your attention here is over here on the left-hand side, you can see that there's the option to bold, italicize, add numbered list, bullet list, and things like that. This is more for when you're presenting the content itself. So as it relates to the artificial intelligence, you don't really need to worry about this. This is just how you bring attention to things for yourself for when you are actually going to be recording the video. So for example, if I wanted to make sure that I put emphasis on this particular part, then I would highlight that and bold it. Or if I said, hey, you know, I'm actually going to turn these into bullet points that I can make sure to cover each section, then I would just do that. And then that might help me flow through my script in a more easy way. But you can see how all this is customizable. It's incredible. Now let me show you something else. If we go over here and we look at smart content, if I click into this, let's say that, uh, let's go somewhere where it might be relevant. I'm just gonna go up here into my intro and welcome. And I've already got my name in here because we put this into Tube Spanner, of course. And then anytime you're writing a script, it'll go ahead and just drop your name in there for you or your channel name, of course. But I'm gonna go here and I'm just going to add some smart content. So with that smart content, I'm gonna click on this button. And let's say that I have a sponsor block of text that I need to put in here. I would click on that. And then here, if that sponsor block was for TubeSpanner in this case, then I would just say, you know, TubeSpanner is the number one tool for growing your YouTube channel the right way. And you can customize all of this information through the customize area. And let me show you what that looks like. So when you click on that customize button, it's gonna bring you into this smart text area. Now you have description smart text. What this is for is this is smart text that you can actually add into your upload assistant inside of Tube Spanner to where as you're putting your video descriptions together, you can just speed through that process and put in very specific things that you need for that description. But for today, we're actually gonna look at the script smart text. So here you can see that in my case, I actually don't have a lot of this filled out because they just updated it. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and I'm just gonna put my name and then thank you for watching. I'll see you next time is how I end my videos. So then I would update that. And then here, welcome back to my channel, that's okay. But you can go here and you can just add whatever information that you want based around those particular things. So in this example where it says, you know, Tube Spanner makes growing a channel easier. I would say this video is brought to you by Tube Spanner, the best tool to improve your workflow, promote your content on autopilot, and more. So that's the thing that I'm going to use here. And you can see that this is script block text two. So then what I can do is I save this. I'm going to go back into my scripts and you can navigate here through the toolbox. And then I'm going into this script that I was working on. I'm going to click edit. And then now in this section right here where we added that sponsor block, check this out. I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to add the smart content and then I'm going to do script block text too. And then you can see here how it added the different text there that I added over on the other side. So basically you can fill out all of these little smart tokens is what these are called. And then as you are needing them through your scripts or through your video descriptions, you can just click on whatever it is that you need and it'll just go ahead and insert it into the description without you having to rewrite a bunch of stuff. So it's really convenient and really helpful for your workflow. And then if I wanted to add additional areas to this, I would come up here to the top left and I would click add a new section or a new element. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add like a little list area or a little bullet point area. Then I would just click content bullet points and then I would just click add element. And then you can see it added that content here at the very end. So I would just grab that and then I would pull it to whatever area that I wanted, which in this case, I'm just going to pull it here. And then I have that where I can just go ahead and add whatever list of bullet points that I would like to add. To try this out free for yourself, just go to tubespanner.com or there's a link down in the description. And look, if you're watching this video, there's a really good chance you have a YouTube channel. So I recommend you click into this playlist right here that's gonna help you ensure that you have every aspect of your YouTube channel set up correctly. You can go ahead and click into that now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.